here's what happens. Like, uh, say, say, relax. <laughs> <laughs> like a karate <broad> guy. <laughs> okay, when somebody grabs a hold of us, when somebody basically snatches a hold of us, I want you to grab me, grab me like that. Most people, they do what I just did. In other words, when he grabs, I grab me again. When he, especially if he's really violent, I tighten up, and then I kind of look. In other words, what, what he's really done is he's sort of captured my psychology and my physiology. Do you follow that idea? Awesome. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. So uh, what we're going to do in a second, and then we're going to kind of segue this into sort of maybe our comité a bit, is he's going to grab a hold of me really hard, really strong, and I'm going to be, yeah, yeah, again, and I'm going to be super relaxed. I'm going to be unperturbed by that. Okay, back again. So instead of grabbing, instead of grabbing like an ice cube, He's grabbing basically a sack of water. Nothing. It's totally different, right? It has nothing to hold on to. And it's, make a punch again. Punch, punch again. It's so, super soft. It's very difficult to deal with my softness. Make a punch again. Now, now, now fight me. <laughs> it's, it seems counterintuitive, but if that's why it's working, is because I'm not giving him anything. I'm just doing what I'm doing, right? Okay. Right. It, it wasn't really about you know how strong your sokoke was. It was actually how efficiently was I connecting my this to my center. Like my arm could actually be super relaxed. I didn't have to be tight with my arm. In fact, that was almost counterproductive. It was better to kind of take all this tension out and just feel the connection of my center to my arm, to their arm, to their center. It's like you're creating a, a connection. This is very Aiki. Aiki is not in the peripheral. It's how is your center affecting your partner's center. That's the idea. Because as soon as I do this, then, the, then everything happens here. I don't want it to happen here. I want it to happen deeper in my soul. Can I borrow you? So now we're going to do, just very easy, just to make me the duck cheese. Okay, we're just going to, going to do, practice a little bit the same feeling. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep that same kind of going in feeling, and I'm going to move this hand out of the way so I don't get hit with it. I'm going to kind of bring this in, and I'm going to cut in really deep, like that. Okay, so I'm going to go, basically I'm going to go, boom, and just cut in really deep. I don't want to stop. I don't want to go here and stop, and then have a, a big old fuss happening right here. I want that same kind of going in feeling. I'm going to come here, I'm going to go like this, and I'm just going to keep on, like as if he wasn't there, kind of going in feeling. So it's almost like if that person is not there, okay? So let's come out a little bit. So I'm here, I'm just basically... Not, not, are you okay with that? Yeah. yeah. Not, 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 not here, grabbing and throwing him. <laughs> Well, that's kind of fun. <laughs> but what I what I like to think is almost like like he's not there. It's basically I, there's Keith, my student over there. I really haven't talked to him in a long time. Let's go talk to Keith. <laughs> you, you feel it? It's the same thing that we didn't do this right when he when he say he punched. We don't, I didn't do that when he punched. I just made the connection. So everything is about basically just making that connection. Just making the connection. Okay. So let's, we're going to try the, so let me show you the mechanics of the sweep real quick. So you're here in a, in a closed kamai, and basically on this is locking and covering, and this whole side of my body is a frame. It's going to come in and I'm going to get my hip really deep on his hip. I'm going to put this right there, and that's my objective, is to stretch that side of my body and get it really deep. But instead of looking at him, I'm looking at Keith. Like, I'm already out there. And so I basically let my already out there, allow my technique to manifest. Okay? Well, yes, try easy with your partner. Yes. And, um, Black Belt Magazine always had this section and they would have, you know, the, the Kung Fu guy, the Karate guy, the Judo guy. What would you do when somebody grabbed your wrist? And this was the starting position. And so a lot of Karate people kind of work like that. Like, okay, the guy's got my wrist. Oh crap, now what am I going to do? Okay? When the technique is kind of almost almost half over at that point. So instead of waiting for the guy to grab your wrist, that's why I'm kind of, I'm, I'm basically leading my partner in. 
basically beating my partner in. You see how two things just sort of like converged, right? It wasn't like one was stationary. It's like basically because his coming in this now was a part of him going down, right? So my, the movement of my arm was almost like, so if he's grabbing my hand, whatever, if he's grabbing my hand, it's almost, you see what I'm saying? Touching time. In the States, we play baseball, we have a kid, have a catch before dinner. If you don't have your mitt, you don't, uh, right? When the ball comes, you receive it. You throw it back, right? Uh, you receive it, throw it back. So when we're doing this movement here, you're receiving it. Okay? So try to feel that masubi, they call it, that marriage. Okay? Yeah, try to practice okay. So he's going to come in with, up with this punch. And as he comes in with this punch, I'm going to put my hand like right in his visual field. Okay? Because, you know, we were evolutionarily designed not to run into a tree. <laughs> right? So I'm going to use that. I might as well use that, right? So when so you, what you want to do is, right? But it doesn't have to be, you know, Kazam Mizuki Gyakukuki. I just say pretty much no. Okay. When you make your connection to your uke, uh, try to avoid like pushing in one line. Say push, push, okay, okay, come in. Push against my hand. If I'm pushing in one line, his body can orient against my hand. So I feel like I'm kind of stuck. But if I if I relax my arm and make a curve, it's like he has no idea how to push back because that line is ever changing. He, it's like we can't keep up with that vector as it's changing. Do you follow that idea? Yes. And so here's the, here's the virtue in, in suppleness and relaxation is because when your body is totally relaxed, it's, it's like a bunch of chaotic vectors that the guy can't orchestrate behind, yet they all have the same intention. They're all going in the same direction. It's why you can hold a stick and balance it, but you can't hold a chain. But if you let go, they both fall in the exact same orientation, right? Do you follow that idea? So there's, there's, there, I mean, it seems so counterintuitive, but there's great power in this sort of soft approach. And of course, some styles, if you go way back in their essence, that's, that's what Goju was, it's hard soft. Like, it's the value of both, right? So when he comes in, I want you to, when he comes in, I want you to come in. So I don't want you to have this reactiveness, like, whoa, feeling. I want you to be more like, no. So he comes in, I basically, no. Now I feel no all the way through my feet. No. It's not like, it's not no. It's, it's in my feet, no. Okay, so as soon as he comes in, it's like, and again, my orientation is always here. A lot of stuff, right? Okay, so try it now. It's a little more karate, okay? Try so that. in my 20 years of knowing uh, Sao Tome Sensei, I have, I've had one argument with him. It was up. Don't ever want to relive that. <laughs> but um, he says, uh, Rick, Rick, no more fun. I said, but Sensei said, shut up! <laughs> um, and what he means, I think, is that you know you learn you you learn structure, right, to to sort of engage a principle, you know, whatever that is. How do I take my body like a lens of a camera and focus it on something? How do I take this squeezing peanut butter here and put it in my whole body? Like how does that all kind of engage like that internally? How do I feel that? But once I have that, then I don't really want to be thinking about that anymore. I just want to think like the occurrence is doing something crazy, and I want to be right next to it, doing my thing. Like, and that's a type of availability of your motion. So, um, so I would say, when you do this, be free enough to like. Sometimes when I teach, when I started to teaching sort of Aiki principles to karate people, they tended to want to move in a forward stance. You can't move in a forward stance. It doesn't. There's no time for that. You just have to move. So in this, in this movement, when, when he comes in and I do this thing here like this, I want to just orient myself. I want to find the, just the right spot. You know, like if I was a chiropractor, this is how I want to adjust a guy. <laughs> you follow that? And so, so no book said, you know, I have to be here or I have to be there. I just kind of feel the amorphicness of the situation and let my body do what my body wants to do. Find that connection. Okay? Part of it is not thinking too much about my shape, but feeling more the occurrence, okay? So try it one more time and maybe don't worry about how it looks. Just see how well you can, what they say, masubi, marry your movement to your partner's movement, okay?
it's more of a question I have. Yeah. But um, how long did it take for you to perfect the the relaxation, not trying to get tense? Or... Yeah. Well, I haven't perfected anything. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know, I gotta say that, you know, the, the study of Aikido was a that was about 2000. I started karate 69. I picked up an Aikido practice in 2000, and I realized how tight I was. Karate people tend to be kind of tight because we have a lot of want to. Yeah, we really want to do it. You know, and you really just kind of have to let it happen. I think there's more of a letting happen in this to it. So when I started practicing Aikido, you know, and I was doing, and I was doing Aikido technique, you're like, oh, you're way too tight. And I'm like, oh, I'm coming down. Yeah, you're way too tight. I was walking into the dojo. Like, <laughs> I mean, I was like, how do I get looser than I am? It's awful. But, um, yeah, and then what I think it happens is it's like there's a very unique line. That's where I, that's where I kind of got the idea that your form is really not the thing people see. The form is the line inside that you're feeling. Because in Aiki, what you do is you try to keep everything really loose, but just one specific line inside that's drawing a connection to your center. But it's I don't have to tighten everything around that line. It's just that one line that, that it's making the connection. Everything else is very soft. So uh, that is like the perfect marriage, I think, that you want. Okay, because it's very difficult to grab it, yet it has integrity. It has a structural integrity. And I would say that's the same thing that I tried to bring into my karate. So to get away from this sort of rigid robotic motion karate, I just just, just find the line, just the line inside the movement. And then you feel that line. When you, when you make a technique, you feel that line. You know, it's like if that line resonates through your body. In Aikido, then, when you connect with your partner, you put that line in their body be that you the conversation was you convert speed to mass at the moment of impact by staying relaxed and then tightening I don't think you tighten it all anymore it has nothing to do with tightening it has to do more with making everything go that way like I shore up my body in a matter where it kind of sequences that way so really this is the last thing this is like my path of least resistance like I push against the ground and a wave comes up when it gets to my shoulder I make it go into my arm and then when it gets down to the end of my fist, I squeeze it out by, by, by squeezing the peanut butter. So it's like, it's basically like I'm shoring up my body. Can you see that a little bit? Yes. It's like, I'm, not, I'm not tightening, this is tightening. No, I'm connecting. Connect, 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 connect. And that, that little, that feeling, that happens, get the punch. You don't see it, there's fat happening back. But in my body, I'm feeling that. I'm making it go that way. 